one, but Underground one was all right. But Underground two was the best, and ever since then, it just hasn't been the same. And a lot of Star Wars games here. You got Star Wars Episode three, the game, very short, but it was fun. I loved it. Uh, two of the best RPGs, probably. Well, not best, but you got you got Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic two. Loved these two games like a lot, but this one started my love affair with Bioware for sure because this is a Bioware game I had so much f I, I beat both of these titles episode uh, or sorry uh, uh, Night Soul Public 1 and 2 maybe I think 20 times like full playthroughs different ones on each side of the game and I know but I haven't played them in a while but sometimes I like to pick them up and play them but the thing is about these games the Night Soul Public 1 and 2 they play bad on the 360. They, like you'll hear random glitches, loud beeps. There'll be gl there'll be a lot more freezing. I don't know why that is, but that's just how it is. Uh, here we got uh, Star Wars Republic Commando. I remember I felt ripped off when I bought this game because I now I probably don't think so. I tried pick, playing it again briefly, but I got kind of bored. But uh, I used to be way I play games all the time back in the day, and it wasn't it was unhealthy. Uh, Tony Hawk's Underground. Now look at this man. Uh, I remember this game was awesome. I love Tony Hawk's Underground. It was so much fun. But look at this. Let's see if I can get it open. Where's the disc? Uh, the fucking cable guy stole it back when. And I'm not even kidding. He stole it. So I was pissed about that. So I don't have the game anymore because some douchebag stole it. So, fuck it. And finally, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. Which, I, if you guys look at my achievements, I did rent this on 360 and I got all the achievements. Because, like I said, it used to be a 360, or a achievement whore, which I kind of still am. But now I don't really care if I don't get them. Like, back then, I would uh, be so, like, I'd be like, fuck! You know, right? Like, I'd be like, son of a bitch, man. I wanted to get that achievement. I wouldn't stop until I got it. Like, it was unhealthy. Now I'm like, I can't get it. I can't get it. Whatever. All right, so let's look in this big clutter of stuff. Um, you got my old mic that I used to record with. You got my, an iPod uh, transfer cable, which I use some to charge my phone and things like that. I have another one up, up in my, where, you know. Uh, here's the PS3 composite cables, which are pointless. I'm going to wipe my ass. See, I never took them out or anything. Another mic. Uh, here's my Xbox Live headset, the black one. Uh, here's the vision cam, which was a very pointless thing since no one ever used it except to show their dicks on Uno. Uh, here's an Xbox Live transfer cable, which I only used once to transfer my original uh, hard drive to the new one in the new 360. Uh, and, yeah, that's about it. And a mouse here. That's, I don't know why that's there. It's just there. <laughs> and that's about it for here. Except, if I like this thing, guys, but it's kind of bulky. And like I said, if I could get a stand or something, or, or yeah, like a DVD stand or movie stand to put all my shit in, that'd be great, because then I could get rid of all this clutter. And this actually opens up. I don't think you'll be able to see any of this, but... Uh, nothing, there's an old satellite thing that doesn't work anymore, uh, a bunch of old, like, codes things that I just threw in here because I didn't feel like doing an old headset, nothing, uh-oh, hold on a minute, there's, uh, this thing got caught in there, there we go, so there's not a whole lot in there, I never look in there, it's just a bunch of old shit that I never use, now, um, let's see, so that's about it for this side here, let's go into my main pit, my main little sitting, this is where I sit every day, to play my games, as you can see, this is me. All right. So um, here, here's my laptop. I I did an unboxing of this. This is uh, the HP Pavilion uh, DB6. It's a great laptop. It's a lot faster than my old one. I love it so far. I haven't had any real problems with it other than the uh, the overheating. But it's not even that hot. Just don't like it. like this 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 right here. This ottoman is made out of like I don't know. It it's not leather, but it's like. You can even hear it, like, it's not, like, fabric, so it gets really hot, and if I put the fan directly underneath it, like, all this shit under here is hot, so if I don't, like, put it flat based in the middle, I'll be fine, but that's just, um, I gotta be careful with that, so, that's just, that's it. Okay, so the laptop is really good, I love it, uh, n like, no problems with it, it, like, my old laptop that I had over there was from 2007. I used it for many years. It was in, it was getting fixed, I think, I got it fixed, I think, six times. No, no, it wasn't that many. I think I got it fixed four times, four times. And uh, they said on the fifth repair, and it had to be a major repair, like a hard drive or a power source or something of that nature. Um, on the fifth time, they would say, okay, we're not fixing this anymore. Go pick out a new laptop. That's what they would have done. And I've been like, sweet, man. But unfortunately, it never broke down one more time. The guy at the, uh, I got it from Future Chop because they have good warranties. I like their warranties. 
Plus, my dad, uh, he knows, he, he has some connections there, and he always gets us deals and stuff. So I, anything major like that, I'll try and get at Future Shop, but other than that, I go to Best Buy. Anyways, um, so the guy there who was fixing it one last time, he's like, dude, just drop it down the stairs. I won't say anything and bring it back. And I'm like, oh, I feel so bad doing that, but, uh, well, that's what he recommended I do. And before I continue, I'm just going to pick these games back up and put them up here. I'm, I want to get some organization with this, like... Probably, hopefully, in the near future soon, I'll have this all organized better because I didn't think I'd have this many games. Anyway, so that's my laptop. It does the job, but people, I, I, I think it's a good idea for me to get a desktop because I shouldn't be doing hardcore editing on this, and I'll be using it for like you know just anywhere, just so I don't have to. Uh, I can just chill back and watch, go on YouTube or watch videos or whatever the case is. That's what I'll use it for. I'll also use, use it for my recording. And I wouldn't use the desktop because I'd I don't I wouldn't get a monitor for starters. I'd probably just connect it by HDMI to my TV here. But other than that, uh, this is doing the job for now. I'm keeping it nice and cool with that that fan. But it's only a temporary solution, so I gotta watch myself here. Uh, kind of just a side note, I guess. There's my iPod. It, this is the the classic. This is when they first calling them the classics. This is they no longer make this iPod. It is in. An 80 gig, and it's pretty much full. I have that much music. And the thing is, with the new touches, the new iPod touches, they they only go up to 64 gigs. That's not enough. What are they thinking? When that that iPod is like, what, like 400 bucks? So no thanks. Um, if I were to get another iPod, which I don't really need to right now, I would get another classic, but it would be at least 160 gigs for sure. Because I'll bet you the 160 gig is way cheaper than this. And this was pretty expensive when it came out, so. It's been good to me though, so I can't complain. Uh, I actually, this is my like fifth, fifth iPod or something. I can't remember, but uh, I don't know, man. It's awesome. I love it. There's no need to. It's not broken, you know. So, uh, moving on. Uh, here are yes, I do have these. These are the Studio Beats by Dre. They um, they have ups and downs like anything else. Yes, I would never ever buy them. Uh, Full price, like full price. These motherfuckers are uh, right now in Canada, at least. I don't know where they are in the states, but they are um, three hundred and fifty dollars. I got them for two hundred on uh, the Boxing Day. I'll say, excuse me, Boxing Day sale. I don't think Americans celebrate Boxing Day. It's on December twenty sixth. It's basically basically our equivalent of uh, Black Friday. That's what it is. And uh, anyways, uh, I got it. I, I I think I paid a good amount for them. Now they sound great. I only have two beefs with them. They are like they do have they have cancellation. You see, like uh, noise cancellation. See, so you, you put it on a switch there, and the light will come on. The thing is, I won't I won't take them off. But on this side, underneath this flap, there's two AAA batteries. Yes, it runs on batteries. Now the thing, I don't mind that it runs on batteries, and uh, I mean it's not like it drains. Like people say, oh, the battery life only lasts like one day. I'm like, well, you morons are leaving your your headset on. Turn it off when you're not using it. Simple. So, because I've only had to change the batteries in these once, and I had the, I got it months ago. So, just be conservative with your shit. You're not listening to anything. Turn them off. Take them off when you're ready to listen. Turn them back on. Simple. So, and my other complaint is they do a lot of they have a lot of sound leakage. Like, if you're listening to a song and it doesn't even need to be all that loud. Like maybe at like 25 percent, people are going to hear you. And if you max them out, people are definitely going to be able to hear you. These things you might as well replace them for your speakers because they do leak a lot of sound, which is something I really really dislike about them. However, I don't listen to my music that loud because I have pretty good ears and I don't like fucking up my ears that much. Except when I'm in my car, I like to blast my music. But anyways, <laughs> moving on here. So that's my iPod, my Beats. I do like these, but they're definitely not worth full price and by no means, for sure. I would get a Sennheiser, how do you say it? Sennheiser, Hauser, you know those type of headsets, those headphones, those are good. So I'd recommend getting those. Uh, over here, we just have an Ethernet cable that came with... Uh, my new modem, it's not long enough to reach to my laptop, so I'm not using it because I have a much longer one. I have like a, a 10 foot cable, it's, or it, it's longer than that, it's like 10 meter, I think it is. It's on the ground here, as you can see. This thing runs all the way to the back of my modem. Anyway, we'll show you later on. I got a white uh, PS3 controller. I bought this because um, my friend said he would come over and do Killzone 3 co op. I was going to do the main playthrough as co-op originally, but he, uh, he was on spring break and he was doing a, uh, <laughs> he was on spring break and he was doing, a, he was working on a, uh, uh, 
a project on spring break. And he said, oh, when I'm done, I'll be done soon. Just give me an hour and I'll, I'll be there. I'm like, all right, sounds good. An hour passed, he wasn't there. I'm like, so I called him. He said, oh, dude, I'm really into this project. So I'm like, all right, I got to go on with you, out you then because I can't keep delaying this. So <laughs> I have another one anyway in case someone else wants to come over and play. It's always good to have another PS3 controller anyways. You, like having one controller is just a no-go. So that's just what I'm saying. No-go, so there you go. Wow, I gotta stop while I'm ahead. And here we go with my Xbox 360. This is the one I'm primarily using at the moment. As you can see, I took the, since the control, the battery pack that I'm using in there is not um, rechargeable, this one is, I just took it out. So, uh, a lot of people do that. I have a lot of things over there that have been switched over anyway, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's, anyway. But the thing is, they don't make the Microsoft brand uh, charge packs anymore individually. You have to buy the entire play and charge kit, but I have two of these. I have two of these charger things. All right, guys, sorry, the video, my phone got full up with the data on that last video. I knew it would, uh, but anyways, as I was saying, they don't make these uh, play and charge kits anymore with just the Microsoft brand individually. Um, unfortunately, they only supply this shitty-ass little... Uh, I don't know, man. It's just crap. It's it it, it only lasts like maybe. Uh, my friend said he bought one, and it only lasted him. The charge lasted him half an hour to an hour, and he had to recharge it, so he took it back. And I'm like, well, that's a piece of shit. But anyway, so unfortunately, I don't mind just having an alternate color. It's not a big deal. Anyway, just a remote. So here's for my TV. I don't use this anymore. This used to be for uh, like the satellite, but satellite TV, but it. I never watched TV, so I stopped. That's what that receiver was in there. Uh, this is a remote to my Hapog HD PBR, which I can't seem to get to work. I don't know why, but here's an old uh, remote for... This is the old version. Now they make the, like, retardedly long one. This so this one's old, so... Uh, but it still works, and I never use my Xbox to watch uh, movies anyways, because the PS3 has a better upscaler. Actually, the Xbox doesn't even upscale anything, so that's why I have the PS3. Now... Uh, we've done everything and their dog over there. Everything. Um, 